What's up? Hey, thanks for joining me. Today is going to be an incredible day. We're fishing late in the day, spawn. And I'll tell you what, we could do the minnow thing, we could do a lot of things, but today we're going to be fishing with the Jinko fishing spy baits. They come in about 10 colors. I'm going to show you the damage these things can do. I'll be honest with you, I'm new to them. Just got them sent, and I'm like, gosh dang it, I'm going to try these out. 10 colors, quarter ounce weight, supposed to be able to maintain a certain level in the water column. No matter what you're doing, just like Bill, like keep it right there in the strike zone. Once you identify where that strike zone's at, baits are key. These are these are freaking nice. We're gonna try it out. That's what we're on tap for today. Bam! That's right, folks. That's what we've got on tap for today. These things have VMC treble hooks. I'm talking sticky, sticky sharp. Um, a quarter ounce. They stay in the strike zone. Put some big slabs in the boat. Check out this episode, folks. This is a bait you're going to want to add to your boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. So one thing that's interesting about these baits is they fall about a foot a second or so. So you don't have to wait long to get it down to that four or five foot mark, which is typical around, you know, or heck, if you're, if you're in Mississippi and it's dirty water, we've got clear water here and that's always gonna play a factor. One, two, two seconds, let it drop. And then it's a really slow reel to get that bait to stay in that strike zone. And that's what's great. Let me just show you these baits here. I'm gonna bring out this guy here. This guy is, so you've got the propeller on the top, You've got two hooks underneath and then a propeller in the back. That allows it to stay in that strike zone a really long time, about an inch and a half. I don't know if that's the actual length or not, but I can tell you that's what it looks like, about an inch and a half. So good slender bait, great for the spawn, great for any type of fishing to be quite honest with you. Add a weight to it, drop it quicker. At the end of the day, that thing is going to stay in that strike zone just a lot longer based on that body shape. There's the old spy bait working right there. That's a good solid eater. They hammered that. That is a lot of fun. This bait stays in the in the strike zone so much longer. You gotta give it time to drop, but that's a good solid 12 inch fish. Bam, good fish right there. We're gonna let them go tonight. Gonna let them go right there. fish with something different you know we do a lot of things with jigs and minnows and and all that stuff but I'll tell you this is just a nice little eater here but it's just fun to fish with something different and the spy baits from Jinko fishing check them out at jinkofishing.com nice little eater I'll let them go is it's just a great bait now 10 colors quarter ounce they fall slow they stay in the strike zone loner longer I should say um, but look, you know, two propellers, what the Whirly Bird has on the back end and the front end of this guy, totally, you know, just a nice bait. And it's always fun just to try different stuff out. So check them out at jinkofishing.com. Just a great bait, man. Slow, it drops slow. That's a solid 12 and a half fish. Thick back. Here, 
I'll show you the release on that one here. So the weather today, roughly around 55 degrees, water temperature is at 62. So we are in the spawn, folks. And uh, a lot of wind. So you get into these coves, you get away from the wind on lakes that you can do that. And uh, these are great baits right here. I'll tell you, uh, slow, slow, slow. Sometimes I have to really, sometimes I have to really uh, think about it saying, hey, slow it down. You're not fishing with a jig right now. This thing is going to stay in that water column, that, that depth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it up. We've caught three good fish on this on this color right here. Green and yellow, it looks like. We're going to bite that off. We're going to put a blue and white version. This guy right here, check him out. Now, blue and white has been hot on my lake lately. So I'm hoping... That'll transfer over to this guy. And it's just like anything else. I got 10 colors. You, you want to try the other colors out. Check out what, what's working for your lake. I always like to recommend that you start with the colors that are most popular at your lake. See if this is the type of bait that you'd be interested in playing with. You could certainly lead it with a split shot or something like that to get it down there quicker if you'd like. But again, the power of this bait is that it can stay in that water column just that much longer with very little effort. If you need a slow moving bait, bam, this is it. Look folks, who joined us tonight? It's Reno and Two Pups. So this was a great evening on the water. Now, of course, we had big time winds. I mean, big time winds. <clears throat> but it's always good to have good company out there. And Reno and Two Pups, his wife, um, joined me for the rest of the evening. We had a great time. I put a lot of uh, fish in the boat with the spy baits, folks. Um, you're going to see a couple more here. But at the end of the day, I totally recommend you going out there, trying them out. It's something a little bit different and uh, definitely worth the purchase at Jinko Fishing. So check them out there. Um, the episode's not over. Please enjoy, but also uh, consider subscribing. Appreciate it. Hey, check out three pound fishing guide service folks i'm telling you right now it is popping it has uh, been an incredible spawn already for all the guide trips uh, but i can tell you that what i am always impressed by the most is the post spawn bite so check it out post spawn bite on brush piles does not get any better than that these fish are hungry and they will snap at everything so uh get a hold of me at three pound fishing at gmail.com without as much wind. I don't know if you guys can sense the wind on the camera, but. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Great bait, check them out. Spy baits from GicoFishing.com. Man, I'm excited about this. Just brings another perspective, another viewpoint, another way to catch big crappie on the lake. Man, that's an awesome bait. You know, one thing I didn't uh, emphasize enough during this episode was how sharp those VMC hooks are. No joke, the sharpest hooks I have ever come across. So whether or not a fish gets one or two of those barbs in its mouth, it doesn't matter, folks. I'm going to tell you right now, the fish is done. Uh, sharpest hooks by far that, I've, that I have experienced. So have a great one. I appreciate it. Please subscribe.